Okay, back to business. The business of crushing people. Good game. Thank you very much. Yeah, really well played. I was uh, I was moving a little bit faster, so I was able to get there in the end. But yeah, really well played, especially in the opening. Uh, D4. Let's see what we can get here. Ooh, a Budapest Gambit. Now, we should be able to crush this one. Let's see if we can crush the Budapest Gambit. I just like the simple system here. You put the knight on d2. Obviously, you can go to c3 if you want. But you just get a better structure. Black's going to bring the queen out. We're going to trade exactly one knight on e5. And white's just going to have a better structure. So yeah, usually black takes with one of the knights. You play bishop b2, you castle... And yeah, at some point, this pawn will go here. And white just has the better structure because it's so much easier to to play here. Hopefully we get to uh, hopefully we get to show a good case of how to beat the Budapest Gambit here. Okay. Black can also wait one turn before they play that move. But yeah, white has two bishops. Moves include all of these moves. You put all the stuff here. You play before. You play c5. Like c5 right away might work. Um, I'm going to put the queen here, just so that extra sure that c5 is fine. And uh, a lot of good options here. I bet you c5 is a really good move here. But am I smart enough? Yeah, probably. So if you take here, the idea is that I will take here. And yeah, even if you stay up upon momentarily in this ridiculous pawn structure, I should be able to win some stuff back. So I don't think b6 actually stops c5. And yeah, still want to just bring bring some more stuff in, bring some rooks in, but yeah, I mean, I guess we're kind of positionally threatening to take here. We can't take with the queen because you lose a knight. If you take this way, then you have a, a weakness. So yeah, c5 probably works. Okay, my opponent is going for this. Seems kind of weird, but uh, yeah, okay. So you're temporarily up a pawn, but let's just go get it back. And then, yeah, there should be a couple targets here. Okay, attacking my pawn. All right, I'm just gonna play b3. Even though with b3, black has this potential to you know drive the a pawn down and goes for it right away and probably rightly so. So yeah, real good by the opponent. Okay, seems a bit slow. I thought they'd follow up with the plan. So I can take now. Uh, I can toss in. At some point, I'm gonna have to toss in this move. So it might be worth doing right now. But let's just make sure we're a pawn up. And if they go here, we'll play bishop to c4. Alright, we'll play bishop to c4. Take back with our rook, I guess is the way to stay up a pawn. And... Feels pretty good. I'm even going to put my rook behind this pawn. Black is going to actually be very quick, though, with coming in here. So let's be... Let's just be slightly careful. Here might be an okay move. Uh, actually, maybe not. I guess black is fast enough. Maybe this is actually a goof. Yeah, black is just fast enough, aren't they? Okay. So not, not as easy as I want it to be. Can I play here, though? I guess I can. All right, so I'll play here. Need luft, though. Need some luft ASAP, but we're up a pawn. Hey, thanks for the follow. The feel ink. Thank you very much. Um, let's just make sure we get some luft here. I say go big or go home. Let's get some mega luft. <laughs> I guess now he's going to go here. We're just going to always have rooks kind of attacking each other. Um, king up. Going to have to defend this guy. But yeah. So we're pawn up. Doesn't always mean you win in these kinds of positions, but it definitely means you're the one trying to win. King up here. Try to trap his king a little bit. And eventually we have the idea of just driving the pawn as far as it goes. How's it going, Greb? Good to have you, Salib. <laughs> Eight. 
Anti Berserk. Can I play him next? Possibly. There's a lot of people, obviously, that want to play. But yeah, possibly. Anything's possible. Sid Hartha. Thanks for the follow. Oh, RPVVB. I also missed you. You came in with a follow. Thank you very much. Just kind of trying to drive this king to some dummy square. And I think we'll start pushing a little bit here. We'll get this guy as far as we can. We'll go farther. We'll go as far, far, far as we can. And then make some progress over here. So, yeah, if you take this way, this is for sure a win. And we're going to keep it simple today. I've made a few goofies in my life, so I just want to keep it as simple as we can today. Make sure we don't lose this one. Very simple. GG, they say. Thank you very much. Thank you for the game. Uh, it was a pretty good illustration of what to do against the, the Budapest Gambit here. So, yeah, it's a very, very interesting opening. Um, but yeah, I do feel like in here, this is sort of the main structure, whether they take there or not. This is uh, just the main pawn structure where white has this easy idea. I kind of had a feeling that maybe I can play her right away, but I just wanted to, to castle and I wanted to put the queen on c3. And yeah, this doesn't stop c5, because as we've seen, uh, this pawn structure should just be pretty good for me. And then, yeah, I mean, the rest was just about converting, and I somehow managed to do it. So, thanks for the game.